back playing some sanity grinding in modern and the key changes we made here was i feel like you know logically speaking because we have some mdfcs in in magic now more of them seagate restoration being a land and sink into stupor are just auto includes they they automatically just become spells that you can pull off the sanity grinding and you see the couple of times that we play sanity grinding we do pull a couple of these cards up so so they do actually matter in terms of counts and you know just being land drops with the crabs is really important but i think the big thing that we struggle with in this league is the land count um and you know this is like a post list i actually just made some edits to it kind of after the game but you know really the list that you want to be looking at is minus one visions minus one island and two um of the island cycler lorian revealed but Lorian Revealed even just felt like it was taking up land slots that we just needed in our deck. And instead of spending the mana to become a land drop, we just needed that card to be a land drop at that time. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm not sure what other improvements we can make to this list. Maybe this league was just bad luck. I'll let you see in the games. I would love to play first. Come on. Don't, don't, uh, don't hit me with a good time here um we're gonna keep this we gonna keep this a uh, bit of an interesting hand it's it's like quote unquote like four lands i don't think we need to start off on ruin crab either we can wait until the next turn we could just play seagate tapped one keeps a seven All right we'll just play seagate tapped and pass so this is this might make them think like oh we're belcher um so there's also that kind of faint as well. Don't know the mill spells we're looking for. Kind of control. Happy to have access to cryptic command. Feels like the type of feels like the type of counter spell that we're looking for. Uh okay, so they will take our rune crab, and that's okay. They can't take anything else. I imagine they if I just played the rune crab, they would have had the removal spell for it anyway, so that's fine. That's okay. So just take the rune crab. They're probably really interested in what I'm doing here. They see the rune crab, they probably think some type of mill. If it was Hedron crab, they might think like self mill, but rune crab is definitely, it's telling you that we're playing mill. Oh, the prismatic vista too. Oh, well. Might have to save the Lorien revealed at that point then. Um, I, I don't want to play the prismatic vista just to like, you know, kind of tell them what we drew. Our hands kind of do to Kaka. So I might as well, might as well make them think something here. Urza's saga, is this John saga? Is this Jun Saga? Okay. Imagine they'll take Cryptic here. We'll field the... Like, I'll field the Saga. Yeah, see, we drew the Vista. I imagine they take Cryptic here. I'll keep the Lorien in there. This might not be a deck that uses counter magic against us, so the draw three may actually be, like, really relevant. Excuse me. The Rack... Ah, uh, uh, uh. oh, the Archmage's charm is kind of elite. It's kind of elite. Okay, we're not going to play the Field of Ruin then. Um, I'm going to have to let this one go. They may play Constructs, but I kind of I kind of don't want to get rid of the charm. That's, that's my problem. I kind of just want to point that out myself. Wait, actually, the charm gaining control of the rack might be elite. <laughs> Wait, it might be elite. <laughs> Wait, the, the the charm taking control of the rack might be elite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it might be the meme I need. This is all about entertainment. Like, y'all think I'm gonna? I don't think I'm going like four one in this league or five zero. Oh. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Might have to just draw two cards in this case, though. Uh, let's do an island. We'll cast this. Gain control of this. Actually, that doesn't work, does it? This is because this still chooses that mill guy. Yeah, you know what? This still, like chooses that mill guy. So I'm going to draw two cards. So that'll keep me up and healthy. There. So I'm 
going to do this. We're going to do this. So they'll create a construct and I don't want them to create two. Yep. I don't want them to create two. Honestly, it might have to be, I mean, devastation sides, it's tides of sorcery. That's kind of the tough part here. Taking a hit for a turn or two. Yeah. Getting control of the racks doesn't really do anything to that. Yeah. yeah it doesn't, it doesn't really do anything. Um, I'll probably just get rid of visions. Honestly, card doesn't really do anything for me here. Yep. Yep. That's fine. So in this case, I'll get rid of Tide. A little controversial, but I think I'm going to shock in Tide, shock in, shock, Bolton Restoration. Take one here. Draw three cards. That's probably the plan. Yeah. Pay the three. Cast this on myself. Yeah. A little tough, a little tough, but we have to... That's the call we have to make, right? Uh, each player is going to discard. I'll discard the... Yeah, it's going to have to be this. I'm, I'm way off of Seagate being playable. So we'll discard the Seagate. Probably just discard Fra uh, Ruin Crab. After this, continue to make my land drops. Like, if I do get to the point where I can cast Seagate, I mean, I played two of them. There's still one more. It's still a really valuable draw engine. Um just end up losing to the rack here we're not playing a full play set of fields here right not fields uh we're not playing a full play set of yeah actually it is fields i'm thinking of that's not gonna help either yeah lorian revealed a little late uh i think we just lose though they deal five to us and then i take two on my turn yeah no it's i mean all right, uh, the rack off the rip, though. Mm. Consign is probably my best card, honestly. Visions is really good. Um, Maybe just shift on two of these. Actually, it's probably going to be the archive traps. Like, they're not going to search too often. Like, I can make them with a the field. They have the uh, saga. Honestly, Counterspell might actually be kind of bad too, but I'm back on the play, so it's not terrible. I don't know though. Oh no. Maybe this is not correct. This is just like a tough matchup in general. I think I think we can get there. Our hand was a little slow. Like we couldn't force situations with Mill and maybe just hope to draw. Um yeah, consign might be the best. We can we can consign the triggers. We can consign the um, the actual casting of, of the colors. We can't hit the black enchantment, but we can stop the, the namesake card of the deck. We can stop that. So that's one thing to consider. At least we know this deck isn't necessarily bringing in like shuffle titans against us. Uh, not necessarily anyway. Uh, so we'll keep this. And I'm happy to just play Island and pass in case they rack off the start. Um, and if they thought sees me, they can take the crab. Yeah. Okay. Fine with that. Let's play this. Play this. Mill you for three. Hold up consign. All right. Hold up consign. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I imagine they'll take the crab here. Yeah, I imagine they'll take the crab. Um, 
Otherwise, I can just play Seagate Pass and you're having to have like multiple pieces of removal. Gourmet Angler. Yeah, Delve cards are good. Delve cards are good. It tends to be a good option against us. Archive Trap. I mean, they see it, so they may not enable it as easily. Again, I had to make certain decisions in terms of going down on, on Field of Ruins, maybe for more, uh, a little bit more tutoring on our lands, add more spells to the deck. They're, they're trying here. I mean, it, Fractured Sanity, not a bad pick either. Uh, it just doesn't feel like the correct one. Like, Ruin Crab feels like the most correct one. Um, Consign, also an interesting one, but I mean, you have other options. Like, Consign, I feel like, is the... Is the last option it's it's ruin crab that's really interesting okay so i guess they maybe have the double removal spell or they feel like they can get there with the lilianas or whatever it might be well i mean you're gonna be losing some stuff here so if you slam lily here Yeah, I'll take the three, but if you slam Lily here, then at least I can discard consign and just call it there. So that's good. This will this will help like kind of hyper enable our, our visions at least. Kind of close to their visions is gonna be really good. Once we start drawing those cards at the top end, we should be able to stay out of reach of the rack. Shouldn't be passing through either. Shouldn't be passing through. <laughs> they're, they're mad that we drew this. They're mad that we drew this for sure. Not a bad place to start. You know, a, a deck that wants to attack your hand, at least get a board out um, and just be comfortable in the fact that we have a fair amount of card draw. I'm happy that we're up against the rack and in this iteration of the deck list, we have the Island Cycler that can draw us three cards. That'll be great on the top end. Archmage's Charm, just kind of replacing itself for two cards. Cast it, draw two cards. Visions Beyond, only a two of, but, uh, you know, we can do some fun things. And even the Cryptic Command, just being able to maybe bounce a rack, tap down a board, or whatever it might be on their turn. Bounce a rack, tap down a board. Stuff like that. So it looks like they're Gurmag Angler. Yep. So they're going to Angler, that's fine much about that double angler would be crazy here there goes my visions plan yeah double angler is kind of unfortunate but oh well yo they they got to do the thing right yeah i would definitely like to cast that this is probably the craziest this is probably the craziest top deck i'm not gonna lie that is probably the craziest top deck I cannot even understand what we just did. We They double anglered and we ripped. We ripped the Devastation Tide. Like, yo, leave a like for that. That's crazy. You're this far in this video, you better leave a like for that. That is crazy. Uh, discard, sack, and then, yeah, sack the Restoration, I guess. That is crazy that we ripped that. So we'll island cycle. Grab an island. We'll go rune crab. And we'll actually point that at ourselves for now. It's good cards that we didn't necessarily want. So I don't want that angler turning on just yet. That angler is, is del five, right? They have four cards plus a black there, and they haven't been drawing lands either. So I don't want to enable the angler just yet. Not really in a position to be able to deal with an angler. Will I ever be? Let's see. This is how we play. So that's why I played that that Hedron Crab out first. Inquisition. I mean, you know the Archive Trap's there. I don't know why you... I mean, well, they're trying to feed their yard. They're trying to feed their yard, so I shouldn't say that. Okay, so now at this point, I'm going to play... Seagate, not pay the three. Both of these are going to go at you. If you find a land, you find a land. That's just what I have to work with. If you find a land, you find a land. Um, and, and, and I'm saying land because then they can play out the other angler that's in their hand as well. Oh, okay. 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 
lucky for so long you, you, you can only get lucky for so long only get lucky for so long you, you, you just you know sometimes you just have to forward your game plan you just have to forward your game plan that's just how it works you just have to forward your game plan you know cryptic command would actually be kind of elite here oh they're only playing one they don't want to get god again they don't want to get god again uh we are going to cast this Draw two cards. Noise. Pass the turn. That hurts. Now they don't need to search. Uh, sure. Discard, discard, it'll definitely be that. <clears throat> so now they'll angler. I'll take the damage here. Go to 11. It's not the end of the world, yep. They'll play their other angler, I imagine. Hopefully, hopefully it's not the rack. That'd be, that'd be great. Um, looks like we'll have to bring in some amount of copies of suspend. Looks like, looks like, honestly, over the thing here. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to play this. Um, Fractured Sanity or, um, or the Marquee Mill spell itself. Both, both win conditions here. So, <clears throat> I'm also going to open myself up to... Lily works here. So we'll sack one of these. Uh, I'm just going to block now. I think it's safer. I think it's safer. Uh, even if I draw, even if I draw this land. Uh, I'll just play it out. It's safer because if they just happen to have the removal spell or whatever next turn, then I'm just taking the damage for free. Like I'm, they have lethal anyway. This, this kind of makes it so I still last another turn just in case. Uh, that's lethal. Yeah. Even if I return this to my hand, so close. Um, yeah, so close. All right. GG's. Uh, yeah, definitely a, a matchup that. Like we had options against, just not, just not for us. Yeah, GG's. Opponent chooses to begin the game with seven cards in hand. We are gonna mulligan this nonsense. Uh, still bad. Wow. Um. Okay, it's gonna be a mold of four. Great. Um. Throw those back in there. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna have to be this one. Great. Great. A Maldifor. Like, I couldn't keep that five. Like, you just can't keep these one-landers against this, like, spell-heavy deck. Oh. I want to do the crazy thing, but the deck won't cooperate with me. The deck won't cooperate with me. Oh, is this, uh, it's like Yogmoth. Probably Yogmoth. That's not great. That's not great, folks. We are. You know, I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> Kenton Orkish Bullmaster's deck. It's not necessarily something that um Yeah, it's just not necessarily something that I'm looking to uh take advantage of here at this point. So let's see what happens. Alright, so main. Counter spell. Um, let's see here. 
opponent does what? Like we go land and just hold up counter spell. That's but there is gonna be something to counter. I, I I will say that this deck will generally speaking have something to counter. The problem is that the delighted halfling will make some of it uncounterable. Like by the time I get this out, they get to, you know, they make their third land drop. That's Yogmoth mana with the halfling out. Even if they play Grist, that's a legendary spell I can't counter either. Um just makes it tough. Just makes it tough. Yeah. And Delighted Halfling gives you mana to cast a legendary spell. That could be, you know, there's there's legendary sorceries and stuff that are, you know, yo, big buff to, where is it? I'm going to look it up, actually. I'm going to look it up, after, actually. Where is it? Skyfall. Okay, Young Wolf. The legendary subtype. Legendary and uh, sorcery. Yeah, there's Jai's Immolating Inferno, Karn's Temporal Sundering, Kamal's Druidic Vow. Yeah. I mean, you can only cast those like with the restriction out. They'll swing at us for one. That's okay. Oh, no swang for one, eh? No, no, no swanging for one. That's cool with me. Okay, if I can just draw lands, that's not drawing lands. Okay. That's not drawing lands. That's not the fun stuff. Also drawing the wrong half of my deck. Is it is it too much to wish for Mystical Tutor and Modern? Because I would be doing dumb stuff like this with it. Mystical Tutor grabs an instant too. I don't even want to. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. Ignore me. Literally just ignore me. Get your get out of here. What are you talking about? I don't want that here. I need to draw cards to get lands. You think I want that out there? Get out of here. All right, come on, yog me up. Go land yog, land yog, slam him. Oh baby, no no yog. Okay, could still be grist though. Could still be grist. What are we doing? What are we doing? Come on, draw me a land. I'll slam fractured. Draw me. I'll actually just slam fractured. Genuinely, I'll slam fractured. I I'm I'm cool with that. With that, Beseju, Overgrown Tomb, Delighted Halfling. <sighs> Opponent, Beseju, Overgrown Tomb, Halfling available, two mana, Hapatra? Snake Lady? A! Hey, I guessed it. Snake Lady. Okay. All right, fair enough. Swing at me for two. I'm at 18. Land, land, land. You're joking. You're actually having a ha ha right now. You're having a ha ha with me. You're having a silly, silly with me right now. Please, please. I don't want to miss my land drop. I don't want to miss my land drop. Oh my God. <sighs> this deck is playing enough lands. I'm telling you, this deck's playing enough lands. Look, 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 look. You don't believe me? This deck is playing enough. Look. So there is one, three, nine, 13, right? 13 plus uh, eight, that's 21 lands, right? The sink in the stupors and the Seagate restorations and Lorien revealed kind of helps a, but the, both these Lorien reveals account for one land. That's 22 lands, that, that, that's 22 lands. Okay, it's enough, it's enough lands. Crazy, 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 crazy. I could be, yo, I could be perfectly fine here. Honestly, like the minute I get a land, I'm slamming sanity grinding, but it might be too late. If I drew, I, I'm multi four this game, folks. Remember, I'm multi four. I could sanity grinding here, right? And that sanity grinding could, could do a lot. That sanity grinding could do a whole lot. Do also do nothing. That's what we're here for. I'm hoping the sanity grinding rips 30 cards. 30 cards. It'd be a beautiful thing. It'd be a beautiful thing to witness. Agatha Soul Conch. <sighs> okay. At least uh <laughs> this card is so good. This card is so good. Shout out to this on uh on a video earlier this week talking about 
how Agatha's Soul Cauldron just absolutely ripped that Pioneer RC with Tree of Perdition. Okay, taking a damage, taking a damage, taking five. Yep, you may, you don't have to, you may. Oh, you want it to return. Okay, I mean, fair enough. Comes back as a 2-2. You miss one point of damage just to, just to be able to deal more next turn. Seems seems pretty fair. Okay, it'll have to do. It'll have to do. Because we need to do this now. Oh! Please. Please. Please just rip them. Please. 30 cards, please. It'd be insane. It'd be insane. But see, look, we're, you know, we, we the sink into stupor did come into play here. Um, it's not great. We we're only able to mill 16 cards, but that's okay. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's better than the fractured. So it's just, I'm not really looking for fractured sanity out of this card. So that's okay. That's, if we weren't missing our land drops, if, if, if we hit our turn three land drop, we'd be in a better state right now. I'd be, I, I believe we'd be in the same state. You know, I'd been able to fraction sanity and then sanity grinding and then fraction sanity next turn. We would have been able to win the game. We're probably going to lose the game at this point. I mean, especially considering I gave them all this. I'm not going to lie. Like we kind of need to draw devastation tide. Um, if we're even thinking about winning here. So that's why I'm like, okay, we can wait. We can even draw a land actually. I don't think a land really works though. Because they still have like Agathas. Because that's the thing. Like, I, I have to. Hmm. I have to like tap their board, bounce Agatha if I draw land. I can't even cast Fractured, which is really dumb. Yeah. There's a chance though. Hey, I could. I could draw Fractured. I could draw not Fractured any Sanity Grinding. Mill them for 29 cards. There's a world. There's a world. Okay. Behold, the walking ballista is crazy. The walking ballista is actually insane. Okay. Okay. Everyone got everyone got it. Everyone got that. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got eight damage. Plus four, you got four counters. Put a minus one, minus one counter on something. Right? You don't have to. You, you, you can. You don't, you don't have to. But is this like remove a counter? Remove a plus one, plus one counter. That's not, that's not how that works. I guess you, you create a snake. So there is that. I mean, look. The, the walking ballista tokens officially. This is GG's actually. Now that I think about it. They can tap four, add a counter on or something. I just got to make them see it though. So I gotta make them see it. Come on. One, two, three. Ping me, ping me, ping me. Right. And then like, okay, this is. Well, it's gotta see it, but yeah, I imagine. Yep. Yep. And, and so just spend it, spend it Two. hit me with it. Walking ballista. Oh, oh. no, I'm not letting you do it. Get out of here. Get out of here. You still did it though. Um, against this matchup, uh, I think this is just suspense. We could play consign for the triggers. Um, I'm happy to take out two visions and maybe two counter spells. Play suspend. Cement. Yeah. Really unfortunate that we have to mull hard for it, but. You know, in, in the attempt to add more lands to this deck. I don't know. Maybe these Lorien reveals should just become like. I don't know. Like, like the, the sink into stupors are essentially old Tawaras. That, that was the reasoning behind that. Like a lot of people in my previous comment section were like, yeah, sink into stupors make more sense. I'm like, yeah, you know what? You're right. Sink into stupors do make sense. Um, In terms of your land drops, uh, we're, we're going to keep this. We just, we have a double crab opener. We have a crab into a counter spell. Just good vibes. Just good vibes overall. 
If they inquisition us, they probably take the counter spell. That way we can go crab into Vista. They might take the crab, in which case we have the counter spell. Like, I mean, obviously, if they go opener into delighted halfling, that complicates the counter spell, but they know we keep. So they're trying to decide like like how many archive traps we have, I guess. Truly. They're trying to decide how many archive traps we have. Lands are a little struggling. A uh, li little bit of a struggle sauce for this deck by the looks of it. A little bit of a struggle sauce for this deck. I wish I wish we had access to... I wish we had access to Brainstorm. Some type of cheap Brainstorm effect. Just for Devastation Tide. I would love to be able to just like throw that on top somehow. I don't know. What are some options for that? Something in the comment section let me know. Like what are, what are some like good options that we could have for like... A de that like that's the thing like there, there really isn't like a decent brainstorm effect if there was like if there was a decent brainstorm effect other decks would play it right i think there's a, like devastation tide feels like it just feels like the wave and now and that's why i'm happy we bought brought back cryptic command because cryptic command can act like that board wipe as well so it's almost like we're playing eight um and i say like act like a board wipe because you can tap all creatures right so they mull once Okay, play this and pass the turn. I got no response. I got no response. Opponent. I got nothing for you here. Pass right through. What's the plan, opponent? Can I at least take a game from you? Can I at least take a game from you? Misty. It's getting crazy. The the the, the cloud cover, the, the visibility is decreasing here into green. I'm less enthusiastic about a counter spell. I'm not going to lie. Like a lot less enthusiastic about a counter spell. Albeit, I might need to just fracture. I'm not going to lie. I might need to just fracture sanity because I kind of need to make a land drop. That's that's the problem here. Kind of just need to make a land drop. Yep. So hold up the counter spell. If they play Grist here, okay. Um, shifting Woodland, get out of here. You have three types in there. It's not like I'm going to feed that anymore. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. Is that a grist? Yes, it is a grist. Um, in which case, we will just, uh, I'll just hit him with this. Yeah, if it, if it wasn't for the fractured, I definitely would have just gone crab. Um, I'm just trying to get my land drops going. Truthfully. Right. That grist ultimate is going to be brutal too. So. You know, just having the ability to potentially bounce it off Cryptic Command is going to be very important. So let's see what we can do. All right, it'll have to do. It'll have to do. Right. So there. Again, they will play the Ruin Crab and again, just hope for the best on, on finding a fourth land to then Cryptic Command and then maybe we can Devastation Tide. Devastation Tide returns our stuff too, but I don't know. Like the Endurance is an option for them. That's the one thing I have to consider as well, but I don't know how much we can actually bring in against this matchup. We just have to try and counter Endurance like that. That's what we have to like kind of just play around. Interesting that they plus again. I guess they're going for the ult. They don't want to kill a crab. Red? What are you, what are you talking about red for? Red and green? What are you talking about? Oh. Right, because this is a legendary artifact. <laughs> of course it's a legendary artifact. Right, of, of course. Of course it's a legendary artifact. Why wouldn't it be a legendary artifact in any way, shape, or form? Why wouldn't it be a legendary artifact? 
Oh, Lord. I mean, yo, block them. Block them, sock them robots right here. Yep. Think I'm going to get fooled by you putting a counter on something. Oh, yeah, there you go. So on their upkeep, I'll put a stop. Right. Yeah, on their upkeep, I'll put a stop. So I got to stop there. It's pretty good. You know, fair amount of cards, fair amount of cards. Perfect. So now we can crypt a command. We can return the grist to their hand and tap down their board. That's the plan. Activate the Agathas. Right. 37 cards in there. Doing a pretty dang good job, right? Doing a pretty dang good job so far. Yep. All of Roots is a good choice. Yep. So cast this, return target permanent, tap all creatures, return this permanent. Actually, does that really matter? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, return that permanent. Yeah, because I don't want to just take 12. I, I really don't want to just take 12 damage. It's not lethal, but I really don't want to take 12 damage. This also, unless they draw land, this prevents them from casting it this turn again. So there is that. They already have the Wall of Roots on the Agathas, right? So I could bounce that. The problem is that they can cast Agatha pretty easily again with the Shifting Woodlands. They have another Wall of Roots. They could do the same thing. Um, To be fair, they now can use this to cast it again. But this just makes it so they have to use... They have to do it all over again. They have to use a bunch to do all that again. Um, and it probably means they have to play out Grist with the Wall of Roots ability and then just minus on the Grist immediately. Otherwise, if I draw a fetch land, the crabs are lethal. Um, so they have to think about that as well. If I draw a fetch land, the crabs are lethal. Then what I can do is if I draw a fetch land, I can Devastation Tide. That's exactly the stall that I need to win this game. Because then I fetch, they go to three. Um, assuming they play Grist and... Assuming they play Grist and sacrifice one of their creatures to kill one of mine. Two Endurances in the yard. I'm assuming there's still one more in the deck. Okay. Interesting that they went for the young wolf. I guess. That too. Okay. Fair enough. I guess they're just going to have enough mana to do all that stuff, so... Suspend is kind of nice. Kinda. Just gonna have to pass. Uh, interesting because like we we kind of functionally have thing here. Oak something, you're gonna orcish. I'll just counter that thing here. Opponent. Yeah, we're gonna need to we're gonna need to counter that. There's a world where drawing cards is important to us here. I really doubt I'm countering the grist. Um, I don't think they're gonna make that mistake of of not using one of the halflings, considering we're playing blue. Yeah, 
And then whatever they go to put a counter on, I will just exile. And Grist is a creature everywhere but on the field, so I can't even suspend it. Therein lies the problem. Okay. Okay, what are we putting a thing counter on? So suspend this structure. Suspend that. Exile it so that, that's going to fizzle there. It's good. Counter will come off of it. I guess I could have waited. In all fairness, I could have waited. I'm, be I'm being a little too hasty with that one. I could have waited. I could have given it one more turn. I really didn't need to use it there. They don't have like anything that's going to allow them to do that stuff at instant speed. So I really could have just used it there. All right. Yep. Get your grist out. Start sacking the wolves. Yep. Kind of have to. Interesting. Okay. I mean, okay. Fair enough. Okay. I feel like there's better things to do, but okay. Okay. All right. Can we just, can we just win this? Can we just win this? Please? And just hope they don't have endurance in hand. That would be great. Okay. All right. I'm guessing. Okay. No, that's three endurances. Usually that's what it is. Sometimes it's four. If you have the endurance in hand, so be it. Walking ballista. Okay. Okay. I mean, if, again, I, okay. Yeah. How do I don't, I don't get it. What do you? Does this actually work? Wait, what are you doing right now? Wait, they actually like net on? Nah, that's actually crazy. So I didn't have it at all then. I didn't have it at all then. I just had to mill over their ballista. That's all they're waiting for. Yeah. All right. That's all I could do. That's all I could do. Okay. Okay. And then they'll just keep adding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, the Yawgmoth matchup. Creature combo decks. GG's. GG's. I feel like I should mulligan this hand. I think I will, especially on the draw. This one's better. We'll drop Cryptic Command. Double Trap can be pretty good. Hopefully we can we can just get off to some better starts here. Devour. Yeah, okay. So we're playing Tron. That's fine. Double Devour. Okay. Double Devour. Yep. Sell the rest. Okay. They definitely want to draw some cards. That's fair. This is a deck that may eventually search their green. Okay. Oh, that's not something I want to do. We'll play an island and we'll pass the turn. Eventually they'll search their library. Once they play the Mycosynth. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. What are we playing? Okay. Okay. Uh, is this, um, is this what I'm thinking of with Emrakul? That's what I'm thinking of? No, it doesn't look like it. I would have hit Emrakul by now. Okay. We'll just counter the next spell they play. It's not Breach. It's like red, green, Eldrazi. Just counter things twice here. It's funny that they like um they like legit milled us for mill themselves for like six cards off the rip, which is beautiful. 
Uh, we will definitely do this. Grab this. Keep the counter spell up. Next turn, we can Archmage's Charm. Might even be able to just like force them to draw. There's a world. There's a world. Okay, so they have access to five mana next turn. That's not, okay, all right. We'll just have to gauge based on what they find here. And some of that instant speed here. We got. Okay, fair enough. Create some mana. Do you think counter the next spell? Counter the next spell. That's the plan. Counter the next spell. Do I want to take control of the Utopia Sprawl, folks? Do I want to take control of the Utopia Sprawl? Uh, Trigger Trigger is funny. So I can just return this to my hand. I think it's better if I... Uh, I could just counter this. Might just be better. I could just return it to their hand and then like, what am I really doing? Um, Might be better to just counter. Yeah, might be better to just counter. Yeah, they'll, they'll X all my thing, but it might just be better to counter. Just like keep it off the board. This kind of locks me out, of course, but this deck really struggles to draw lands. Like I, I, I guess like I, yeah, I, I guess I really need to be like forcing myself to, you know, I, I guess I really need to for be forcing myself to draw more. Cause if I can, if I can draw a land here not get one of my lands destroyed um the insanity grinding should just end it so maybe it was better to charm knowing that it was probably better to charm force myself to draw two cards because now i'm like purposely playing from behind like i have to draw a land here or else they'll return world breaker play world breaker yep Sowing Mycosynth is, is brutal. Yeah, they'll return this at instant speed. Yeah, there's no there's no restriction on that. At least we get to mill a bit more. Yeah, that's GG. Uh it, it looks like it looks like I wouldn't have found a land anyway. Yeah, it looks like I wouldn't have found a land anyway. I would have gone Archmage Tron, draw two cards. The card I would have drawn is counter spell. I would have been deeper into it, in all fairness, but yeah. What are they casting for instant speed right now? I don't quite understand. What are you casting for instant speed right now? Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Um so you draw a card. This deck really, really be struggling to draw lands. I might not, that might be the big takeaway from this league to go back to the drawing board with that. It might be, it might be the big takeaway for that, honestly. Go to main. Yep, so they'll kind of return the thing to hand. I'm surprised they didn't just do it here. They could have just... I don't think there's a timing restriction on this. Hey, you just sack a land. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know why they didn't just do it. Because then you don't... I don't know. Maybe there's a reason. Yep. So play is now. You kill my island. Yep. You don't need the Kozilek's return. Pretty, pretty solid card regardless, though. Two mana, three mana, four, five, six. Oh, uh, I think we'll just call it there. 
think we'll just call it there. Um, could we have like drawn into something? They won't let us draw a card. That's fine. They won't let us draw a card. Uh, the big consign of memory matchup here. Yeah, big, big consign of memory thing here. Um, do we need suspend? I don't think so. That seems kind of dumb. I'm not going to lie. It seems kind of dumb. Uh, they will search their library by the looks of it. Maybe drop a visions, drop a crypt. No. Uh, two counter spells, maybe. Feels weird, but okay. Yeah, four consign seems to be the plan. Click yes. Uh, so there are some lands here. Nah. Seems kind of seems kind of dumb. Wow. Uh, we seem to be losing ourselves on lands, honestly, at the end of the day. Okay, we'll keep this. Uh, we'll play this, pay the three, play the crab, call it there. So they had no opener with the cards being milled. Okay. Blue, you say. Right, and then save targets always yield. And then we just go balls to the wall here. At least we found our lands. I will say that. Very different game when you're able to find them. So next turn, they draw a card to 39. We're going to mill them for 18 if our crabs live. That brings them to 21. Pretty low immediately. Okay, they are ramping out fast. That's going to be nice if they do search. Nice to be able to get out and aggressive this quick. So immediately losing a lot of their power right there, which is great. A lot of cards in their deck immediately. Uh, so they can play the one ring. Good for them. That is a great counter to exactly what's going on on board right now, which really sucks, but that's okay. They draw a card. Now's the time to play a fetch land. I mean, they already play a land, but. <sighs> sucks. All right. No worries. Um, it's fine. I guess like save the land for next turn anyway. Like even if we drew a land, we wouldn't have played it. Would have just lost all the value in the world. Draw two cards. Don't do any of that. Don't do any of that because I can I can um, punish them here for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is that is world breaker. Blue all is dust. Fair enough. Do that. Okay. Yep. So they're just gonna. Yeah. That's good. That's good. We were we were able to get our running really fast. So not not a league where we've we've cast a lot of sanity grinding so far. Um. And even when we have, it's been pretty disappointing. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Let's see what happens from Termidor. Oh Lord. Oh Lordy Lord. Like, I guess we could keep this hand. I, I guess we could. It does stuff and things. It does stuff and things. Uh, so this will allow me to get this out. The next turn, what I can do is maybe Seagate cycle. Oh, Lord, this is so fast. The double temple start is so fast. The double temple start is so fast. Okay, yeah, that works. The double temple start. Um, okay, uh, play. Probably yes, honestly, because because what I'm looking for right now is I I mean if they had one temple, sure, but the double temple is like kind of crazy. Okay, I mean it's not it's not super fast, I guess. They just ramped out a bunch, but even still now, like what I'm looking for is a third land. I want to just start casting spells at them. Okay, well, that helps. That helps. I will say that helps. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start casting. I'm going to throw my sanity grinding out first. Right? My sanity grinding out first. 
actually a fair amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 cards. Build is pretty sweet. Um, Emrakul the Promised End is the card that we want to kind of dodge. We have enough lands where we can deal with World Breakers and, and sowing Micro Spawns, but yeah, the Promised End is, is what we kind of want to dodge here. Yeah, World Breaker's fine. It's not the end of the world. Yep. Yep. Pass right through. That's fine. Play this. Yep. All right. And then we should have lethal next turn here. Should have lethal next turn. Really hoping they don't world like promise and me one, two. Yeah. Really hope they don't uh, you know, promise and me here. Uh, one ring is, is perfectly fine. Uh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So we should have, we should have the win here. Ooh, okay. We got there. So let's play this out. Let's play this out. Have the consign ready. And, and yeah, that's it. Ooh. All right. We were able to get the win. That's good. Feeling good about that. Um, GG's. GG's, GG's. Let's go into game four and five. A little bit, a little bit of a boost there. I would love to play first coming off of that game. Let's do it. Let's get excited. Um, hmm, yeah, okay. Okay. Um, we'll probably Lorien. Yeah, we'll probably Lorien. I do want to get into the Cryptic Command. Seagate, we may have to shock in at some point, but it's fine. Let's see what we can do. We'll hold this off as long as we can. We'll throw out the Lorien. We can counterspell on two. Hopefully, this is a deck that we can get some value out of counterspelling on, too. Nicaran GT. Coming at me. With some magic E. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Okay, Ugin's Labyrinth. Exiling. I didn't see a Devour Trigger go off, though. They didn't... They didn't want it, I guess? Oh, Okay. Uh, sure. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, maybe they drew it. Actually, in all fairness, they probably just drew it. Um, yeah, yeah. That, that's probably what that means. Okay. Uh, okay. So more lands. That's okay. That, that, that makes me feel better. Like I, I don't really want to, well, I may actually use the sink in the stupor because there might be a world where Seagate restoration does help me in terms of the cards I need. So. There is a world, uh, so we'll throw this out there and we'll wait. We're not, I don't think we're going to Fractured Sanity here, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I don't think we're going to Fractured Sanity here. We're just going to keep developing our lands, hold up our counter spells. Once we're, once we're kind of lower, yeah, especially once they're doing this. Lord knows they got six mana here. Six mana for what? What is we doing? Hey, yo, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't know about these EDH staples being played in modern right now. <laughs> I don't know about these EDH staples right now. Uh, okay. Uh, we will play and definitely pay the three life. We can cryptic command so we can counter and draw a card here. Should be pretty good. Okay. Got a little bit of green. Hopefully it's, it's not, uh, my destroy my land it might be a little destroy my land it might it might be so I might go spawn okay um are they, are they, they're targeting that yeah that makes sense uh so we will cast and we will counter and draw a card counter spell see if we can make that land back here that'd be that'd be great Counter and draw a spell. They can still tutor for a land, which is fine. Oh, we found another Seagate. Great. I feel so happy about that. That gets me so excited. Okay. Yep. That, gets me, that makes me so excited. So they, they, they got a lot going on right now. They got, they got a lot going on right now. So we're going to... Um, Play 
and bring that in tapped, right? Um, we can just counter spell here. We should probably just Archmage Charm. If I'm going to be honest, we should probably just Archmage Charm. Because then next turn, I can shock in Seagate, go Fractured, and still hold up counter. You know? Should probably just Archmage Charm if I'm thinking about Curve. Oh. Okay. Okay. In that case, yeah, I bet. I'd love to draw two cards. Yep. Oh, the Devastation Tide would have been funny but um yeah so I'd love to pay three life we'll cast this nice am I am I holding on to this dream deeply of casting Seagate restoration yes yes I am <laughs> yes, I am, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't be drawing a lot of cards, uh, you know, just, uh, I would like to draw my fetches though. My fetches in my fields kind of get my basics out of my deck and kind of prevent those from being grabbed, but it's okay. Cause at some point, you know, if you really think about it, you, you really think about it, right? Like break it down here, pull out the list. One, two, eight, nine. 13. There's 13 targets uh, for lands in our deck. The rest of it's not lands. There's a fair amount of stuff uh, to not worry about. So that's fine. It's not a card I'm, I'm too concerned about. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Okay. So we can still do this. And then play this. Okay. <laughs> I like that's what I like just keep it going we can go crypto command draw a card counter draw a card okay a lot of things happening a lot of things happening right now okay <laughs> what is really going on here what is really going on okay all right all right lots of lots of mana all right so Sanctum of Ugin comes down. Okay, let the Sanctum of Ugin resolve. What do they grab? Oh, this is a really cool brew. So we'll counter and dry card. Yeah, we'll counter and draw card. Just move through the deck a little bit. We need to find our lands. Let's we hold up counter spell for this, right? When you cast a spell, I cast a return to the void and then you have to look at to each opponent that's dumb um let's do this so this returns that as well right and then i'll play this and pass the turn yes i know i know i'm holding on to this dream of the seagate restoration i do not care I do not care. I'm almost there. I am one more land off of casting Seagate Restoration. I kind of want it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want it. I kind of want it. Sure. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Both of the top all three of these player hedron archive, right? Right. Two more hedron archive. Yep. Yep. And when it enters, it deals one. Oh, this is it's so good. It's such a such a good card. Truly, such a good card. Okay. 
I'm happy to just bounce their lands and do that again, but that's a little too much wishful thinking. Three. Okay. Okay. Cavern of Souls. Okay, so we're not countering anything. At this point, this makes me even happier to see gay restoration because we are not countering anything. If I can just find the land for it. So we'll do this. We'll fractured sanity. Right? Um I'm gonna pass the turn. Uh right, like that's gonna cast an Aldrazi. That's okay. Um, if they cast multiple things, I might be able to counter it. Pretty much anything that I'm able to counter at this point, I'm going to try and counter. But there's not going to be much. I understand that. There's not going to be much. Okay. Uh, yeah, can't be countered. Yep. Okay, it's going to swing at me for two. We may just Devastation Tide here, honestly. Because they have lethal next turn. All right. So at this point, I'm going to be able to counter something. Um, yeah, at this point, I'm going to be able to counter something. If they choose to play both of those, which I believe they can. Yeah, if they choose to play both of those, I'm going to be able to gonna counter that. And that's okay. Yeah, this was not the correct thing to choose. I feel like the bigger thing would have just had more value for you, but that's okay. They might even wait a turn. If I can draw land would be great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Holding on to the G, G, the dream of the Seagate. To be fair though, in all this time, it's not like we've been drawing anything good at all either. Opponent really thinking about like, if they should be casting this and looks like they will. They'll pull the trigger, they'll force me to have it. Happily, I, I will counter it, happily. So we will counter this. Counter target spell. Get out of here. Land. Okay, that'll have to do. I'll take it. It'll have to do. Okay, Seagate Restoration. Yeah. I did it to draw. I picked seven mana to draw two cards. Okay, next turn we win the game. If we can get to an next turn, we may not get to an next turn, honestly. Yikes, that's three damage right there. Yup, that's three damage right there. Yup. Takes me to four. And they deal two. All right. <laughs> I spent seven hundred to draw two cards. But I needed to. I needed to. Look at where I was going with this game. I needed to. Truthfully, I need to. I drew a land there. Think about it, folks. Think about it. I needed to draw. I needed to draw that. I needed to draw that. All right. This takes me to one, actually. Now that I think about it, I'm at one life. Yep. Hopefully, they just don't have another. Hopefully, they just don't have another thing here. Oh no, they do. They can mirror pull. They can mirror pull. They have the win. It's too late. It's too late. Yeah, it's too late. It was too late. Cause like, what was I really supposed to do? I guess I could have devastation tided, but yeah, no, you, you did good. You did good. I'll give it to you. Yep. You deal the damage off that. Yeah. GG's. I, I feel like there probably was a situation there where maybe I could have gone for some type of win. But anyway, this is going to be a consigned matchup. Prob uh, suspend, maybe. Probably consigned more so. 
Uh, we'll drop two counter spells and submit it there. Like, we just drew the wrong half of our deck, like, honestly. Yeah, we could have milled them for three more, but it just felt like we needed to... Like, we really needed to just keep, like, throwing out bounce spells every single turn, which really hurt. Yeah, which really hurt, but... It's close, it's close, it's close. All right, uh, no, this is too many lands. This is better. Drop a cryptic command. This is better. At least with this hand, um, at least with this hand, we have the continuous like land drops of the fairy. It's kind of nice. Turn one crab. Right? No early answers from this deck. I know that much. So. Defense grid. Yeah, that's a card. That's that's a magic card right there. Defense grid is a magic card. Not not a common one you see in modern, I will say. Okay, you're at three. Okay. A little bit more ramp. Okay. Right, pass through. Drew another cryptic command that I was supposed to. Okay, there you go. I'll take that. Okay, we're just gonna have to throw out spells here. Just get them low on deck size here and hope for the best. That, that is all I can hope for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, five. What do you got for five? Six. Yep. What do you got? Okay. So they're going to choose to draw. They're not going to kill the crab. I'm going to make back some of that mana, which is fair. Scry and draw makes sense. Set yourself up a little bit, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yo. This is the card. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maximize, maximize, maximize. But three of our cryptic commands are in our hand, which is like tragic. It's tragic. Need a okay. I need a consign. Uh, I think I lost this. I'm not gonna lie. I think uh, if this gets triggered, I can sanity grinding here. If this gets triggered, I think I lost because I need a consign to memory to stop that. Yeah, I need a consign to memory to get anywhere near stopping that. I don't know. I just, I'm not, okay. It can happen. It's just, especially since I missed a land drop here. Kozilek. You just never expect it out of these decks now. Because yeah, they have good, so many good options anyway. It can happen. They could draw it. Need a consign to stop triggered abilities. Should have expected the, the Eldrazi brew to tech against me like that. Forsaken Monument goes crazy. This is literally an EDH deck. This is literally a commander deck. And I love it for that. Six mana. Just need five, I guess. Yep. And now your color spells cost are well when you tap a permanent. Yeah, I'm thinking it's plus two, plus two. This is a win condition. Honestly, honestly, I'm gonna just call it. I'm gonna just, you know what? Nick Ryan just have it. I'm going to try and go for the 2-3. Is this a keepable hand? This is a weird one. Not going to lie. I feel like you always keep weird hands with this deck, though. This is a weird one. I don't I I, I wasn't a big fan of it. All right, we'll run this one. Throw probably Cryptic back in. Probably should have been Devastation Tide, all things considered. But Okay, probably Frog Tide, which means we're going to get Shrek'd. 
I'm about to get shrecked here. Dark Slick Shores, though. Does Proxy play Dark Slick Shores? Does he care that much about Temple? What do they do to their Scry? Oh, top one on them. They found the card they needed. Uh, let's faint a bit here. Play this tapped. Make them think we're Belcher. Because um, this gives away the fact that we're Mill, and I don't want to play the Vista to decrease my chances of drawing a land here. Okay. Puritan again. They will. I'll, I'll pull it out for the folks here watching. On top, on bottom, on top, on bottom. They're finding the cards they need here. Okay. Let's play the Vista in this case, because I kind of do want to hold up the, the Fractured Sanity. Yep. If this is Frog Tide, it's like, I don't even know if Archive Trapping is correct here, but it really does depend. Let's see what happens. Probably is Frog Tide. Yep. All things considered, uh, we will go back to our turn. And then I kind of just have to hope they don't have, I don't know, that they don't have something ridiculous here, some type of counter spell, but imagine they do. This is a deck that main, main board spell pierces. Uh, Frog comes through, which is okay. That's good. I will say that's a step in the right direction. Frog coming through is a step in the right direction. I will play this. I'll actually save my Fractured Sanity, especially since they're holding up mana here. I will cast the Fractured Sanity, see if it gets countered. I imagine it will. Spell Fierce in my, in my wake here. Oh, okay. Fair enough, 20 cards. So Counterspell, now a thing, right? So they're discarding a bunch of their stuff to just make Frog big, which is fair. Frog gets me for four, I'm at 15, they draw a card. Yeah. Play Watery Grave, tapped. Don't want to take the damage, okay. Fair enough. Uh, we'll play Sync to Stupor, Shocked in, Shocked Bolted in, because uh, we want a Cryptic Command, if we can. Let's turn and draw a card. If they have the counter spell, they'll use it now. Hopefully it's like force negation. That way I can I can like sanity grinding next turn. Okay, looks like just regular counter spell, which is fine. Because next turn, if I can draw a land, that means I could sanity grinding with protection up. Sanity grinding is almost almost for sure a dub here. Almost for sure. Okay, I'm just gonna have to rip it. Just gonna have to rip it. If only I had a land. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's that seems to be the thing with this deck. I I, I feel like, like, yeah, I don't know the like the draw three, the search for a land. It, it may just have been better in general to have those be lands like over. It's not like we drew that card right now, but yeah, they discard their last card and they have lethal here. So really unfortunate. Um, if we found a land there, we, we, yeah, found a land there might've been able to have a better chance. So this is a mystical dispute matchup for sure. Um, kind of replace like that. And yeah, you just call it there. We could suspend. 
Uh, suspend is a reasonable option too, all things considered. Um, yeah, you're kind of just losing. Like devastation tide seems like a bit of a joke. Not gonna lie. Yeah, devastation tide seems like a bit of a joke. So it may just be keep cryptics for the sake of like the fractured. Play suspend. Play mystical dispute. Uh, suspend, suspend seems like pretty good on rate. That's what kind of why I'm bringing it in here. It's painful. The land situation is so bad. Wow. 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 Like, I don't even know. I, I, yo, I think I just got to concede. I can't beat this matchup like that. Yeah. I don't know. This, this league has really taught me that like, Wow, you really I just really need to play a better land base. Like I think maybe we just I don't even know. Like, how do we change this? Because it's not like we drew them there, but like the Lorian reveals like really just did not do anything for me here. Like I think it's it's maybe just add a field of ruin. Right? And add an island. Cause that was brutal. I'm telling you right now, that was brutal. Uh where is it? Add one of these and then add an island here. Cause that was, I don't know. We just couldn't get anything going there. I don't know. Island. That we were playing like all these lands. We're playing at this point, 10, 15 plus eight, 23 lands, right? That's too much though. Honestly, 23 is way too much. I'm happy with the extra field. Well, am I happy with the extra field? I think I dropped this. Probably just play one more visions. Just like another blue source, but like in another piece of draw. Where is it? Visions of beyond. I don't know. Then the sideboard's like whatever. I'm not really at the point where I want to tune with the sideboard, but like, yeah, you're come on. You got the spell here. I feel like sink into stupor and seagate restoration. You have to kind of play. You're forced into it. But the rest of it just felt really bad. So I think we're just going to play more visions here just to redraw. But like, it kind of feels like, like, would that really solve that problem though? Like, did we just mulligan really bad? Like, were we just in the bad side of mulligans? Like, this is 22 lands, right? Eight plus three, four. This is 22 lands, right? And we barely have any fetches. We just weren't drawing them, uh, which really hurt. So... I don't know. I don't know. It kind of sucked. Left a, that really left a sour taste on my mouth. So, all right. GG's.